G'day, I'm Jim McCarthy from www.makeamrimba.com and this video is to show you how to find the nodal points when you are tuning a marimba bar and, uh, and a really cool little contraption you can build that's very very simple and will help you do this. So first of all let's look at the things you need. Of course you'll need your marimba bar, uh, so this is the one I'm going to use. Uh, I haven't drilled, the, uh, haven't drilled the holes yet, you can see there's no nodal holes and that's why I need to find the, the nodal points and I need to find them really accurately when I'm building the marimba so I know uh, where to place the horizontal support struts and where to drill the holes. So of course you're going to need your bar. You will also need a pencil so you can mark them out once, you, once you've found them and this. This is just ordinary household table salt. Okay, uh, As fine as you can get it. You can use all sorts of uh, small fine particles to find the nodes on a marimba bar but I found salt is probably the best. I uh, have in the past used just bits of sawdust that I've used, uh, I've made when tuning the bars, sugar, uh, all sorts of things, but a little bit of fine salt is, uh, is probably the best thing, it's very cheap. Now I'm also going to introduce you to this really simple contraption that I've made. Look how simple this is, it's, it's, it's uh, no wonderful workmanship I can tell you, uh, there's no point doing that, it's just a couple of screws on each end, it's a little wooden box made out of scrap timber, and i put a couple of rubber bands around it. So the great thing about this is it's tremendously simple, it literally takes you five minutes to build and you can tune the entire range of um, marimba bars with it. Um, this is just big enough, this box, to get around the lowest bar on a five octave marimba, on the one that I'm currently building, um, and that's all it needs to be. Uh, it can do the whole range from the lowest bar right up to the small bar. For the lowest bar, all you have to do is adjust the rubber band right out to the ends so that it just supports the bar from the end. So it's a really great way of, uh, of doing that. Rubber bands, excellent. Let's, uh, let's see it in action and how to do it. Okay, and of course you'll also need uh, a mallet to tap the bar with. I'm using a very hard sort of a marimba mallet here. For the high notes you'll probably actually need something even smaller and harder, like a hard xylophone mallet. Uh, it's best not to use something too big uh, and heavy um, because that just tends to bounce the bar around. So I'll get the bar. Notice I've adjusted the rubber bands so that they're just a little bit uh, closer together than the ends of the bars. I'm just going to place the bar on there. I haven't put the rubber bands under the nodal points, so it will bounce a little, you can see that. And I can stop that if I want to just by kind of putting my finger there or giving it a little tap and just doing that with my finger. But you don't want to have the rubber bands under the nodal points uh, because that kind of can potentially give you a false reading. So. Uh, the ends of the bars is a good way to guarantee that uh, the salt will actually congregate around the nodal areas. So here we go, we're just going to sprinkle some salt around the nodal areas. We know that uh, the nodal areas are around about here, sort of a little bit away from the edge, um, not quite a quarter of the way from the end, sort of around here somewhere. If you're unsure, sprinkle it all the way across, but you know, just a little bit here. You don't want too much, just a, a few grains and try and sort of get it, you can do it on both sides try and get it um, so it covers the whole width of the bar and then I'm just going to tap good idea to have something underneath your bar here because uh, otherwise you'll find that uh, you make a bit of a mess because the salt will fall off the bar and you can see as I'm tapping the bar the salt gradually falls off and starts to congregate in little lines very focused lines going across the bar Okay, so that's probably enough, and you can see straight away now the salt is showing you where the nodal points are. You'll notice that uh, they're not necessarily going straight across the bar, they're on a slight angle. That will depend from bar to bar, and it depends on the direction of the grain and the timber, how it's sawn, um, all sorts of uh, things to do with the timber bar. Of course, timber isn't a uniform material. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my sharp pencil, holding the bar still, and just right through the middle of the salt line I'm just going to draw a little pencil line there even extrapolate out past the edge of the salt there same on the other side and we've with the pencil marked out our nodal lines I'll leave the salt there for now without tipping it off Get them a bit more accurate now. 
Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, these uh, these angled nodal lines aren't any good. You know, uh, I want them straight across. Well, of course, there's a bit of forgive, uh, for forgiveness in the suspension mechanism of them, remember? So even if you, you did drill the line straight across, sort of through the middle, the average area, as close to the node as you can, it's still going to sound quite good. But for absolute perfection, we can actually make this nodal line being on an angle work for us rather than against us. Let me show you how. Now here on an actual marimba, you'll see that, of course, the holes that are drilled through the... Uh, the nodal points aren't necessarily straight anyway. They're fairly straight over here um, towards the middle of the instrument but particularly uh, over on, on the outside edge because the bars are getting narrower as they go up towards the top the support struts have to be on a bit of an angle. So here I'm going to take the marimba bar and put it in position. Now you can see that uh, the salt lines or the nodal lines that we've found tend to angle across this way on the instrument whereas the holes you want to drill really angle across the bar the other way, uh, angling towards the top of the instrument. So if I turn it around, that of course isn't going to change anything because the angles are still the same. What this is telling you is that this bar is probably better suited to being a black note up here. So you can see in that case the angles are going to work for you rather than against you. This is probably one of the reasons why it's a great idea to check um, the direction of the nodes before you actually go through the process of finalizing which note your marimba bar is going to be. Quite early on in the process, if you've got a bit of a variety, um, you know, I'll cut this bar a bit longer than it needs to be, find the general direction of the nodes, and then I can uh, figure out whether it's going to be a black note or a white note, cut it to the perfect length, and tune it accordingly. So you, there you have it. There's the best way to go about finding your nodal points on the marimba bar and make any angle in them work for you. And there's the great uh, little contraption you can build, takes you five minutes, it will really save you a lot of time. For more great information on building marimbas and to download step-by-step -step plans to build marimbas to exact specifications, just check out the URL here, www.makeamarimba.com.